just just probably couldn't have gotten through without it, honestly. Small business owners in Ogden say they could not have made it through the pandemic without state and federal money. Fox 13 Sydney Glenn shows us just how many small businesses and nonprofits have benefited from CARES money. Plus, what help is still out there? Sydney is live this evening to break down the numbers in this rebound report. Sydney. Bob and Kelly, unfortunately, not all small businesses have been able to survive the pandemic like Ogden staple Jesse Jean's Cafe. But for the ones who have been able to, many of them say CARES money from Ogden City has been a lifeline for them. I like a good black cup of Italian roast. For the past 30 years, Susie Daly's life has been surrounded by the aroma of coffee. We build relationships through a cup of coffee. This past year has been tough. We've just really assessed what is a profit center for our business and what is not. Despite pivoting, Daly admits they couldn't have done it without CARES money from Ogden City. It's allowed me to uh, be able to pay employees. More than 250 grants were handed out to small businesses and nonprofits in Ogden, totaling just over $11 million. And we wish we could have reached even more businesses, but just working with the funds that we had available through the city and working in partnership with some funding from Weber County, um, we felt like we were really able to get that money out into the community. At the United Way of Northern Utah, donations are sitting, waiting to go to someone in need. And right now, Tim Jackson says, the need is huge. Part of the reality whenever there's an economic downturn that in, the needs increase and nonprofit organizations that already often run on shoestring budgets are having to do even more with less. The CARES money has helped keep this nonprofit serving the community. During the pandemic, if we didn't have these additional resources, you would be seeing a lot more families falling through the cracks that instead are able to sustain their livelihood. They're able to move forward and have hope. Now, as the president says, most Americans should be able to get vaccinated by the summer. We can look ahead to when we can sit inside a coffee shop like this one with a cup of coffee, a friend and no mask. But that's been our question since March. You know, like what when is this going to be over? What how will we know when it's appropriate to reopen? Right now, businesses with fewer than 20 employees can apply for PPP loans and soon larger small businesses will also be able to apply for that second round of PPP loans. We have more information on our website, fox13now.com. Live in Ogden, Sydney Glenn, Fox 13 News, Utah.